Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the Back to the Future Ultimate Marty McFly audition figure from NECA Toys. I would like to thank NECA for providing him for review. He is coming to exclusively at Walmart first here in the U.S. and will then be available at other retailers. He will be available at some point in February, March 2021. So if you can't find him in stores, don't worry. Uh, soon you will be able to buy him pretty much uh, wherever NECA toys are sold. Uh, as the packaging is a window box packaging with an opening flap. And the artwork on the cover is inspired from the Battle of the Bands, which is a competition held in the Hill Valley High School Gymnasium on Friday, October 25th, 1985, to determine the best band in Hill Valley. So this front here is very nicely done. I love the, uh, the artwork on it. And you have the Back to the Future 35th anniversary logo there. And again, this is great looking artwork. I love how they did this. The top of the packaging is standard for the line, as are the sides of the packaging, with the exception that you see the figure's name right there. And the same thing on the other side here. The back of the packaging gives you some detailed images of the figure, along with a brief description and a look at additional figures that are also available in this line so far. Uh, Doc, we haven't reviewed, but the rest of the reviews are up. Marty is packaged in a window box with an opening flap, and you see the image on the left there, along with the figure and all of his accessories packaged securely in a plastic tray. Here's a look at the bottom of the packaging with the names of all the great people at NECA Toys that's responsible for bringing this great figure together. Here is a closer look at his plastic tray. You see the figure securely in there, along with the guitar, the other accessories that we're going to check out, including the interchangeable hands and head. Here is your in-hand look at Marty McFly. This figure is based on the photograph that Marty has in his pocket and checks to see who is fading away as he messes with the timeline. This is a great figure. I uh, definitely think did a great job with it. And if you're observant and you have the previous 1985 edition of Marty McFly, you would know that this is primarily the same sculpt that's just been offered, minus the uh, red vest, uh, as that was removed for this figure. And also you see the clear hands to uh, indicate he's fading from the timeline right here, which is a great addition to this figure. There's a closer look at the hand. And he even has some great detail on the uh, upper left-hand side of the jacket right there. So that's a fun little uh, addition that they put on them for accuracy. All right, so turning them around, giving you guys a look. You see he has some great paint washes, attention to detail, sculpted folds. So as I said, before, he is primarily the same figure as previously released, with the exception of the uh, faded hand, which you see in this new release. Uh, everything is the same, with the exception of the uh, red vest was removed. Uh, the head sculpt and the expression is also a brand new for the new release right here, and it's a great head sculpt, great likeness. So here's your comparison between the two figures. Here's a closer look at the head sculpt that you saw a little bit further away. Uh, they did a very nice job on this. Paint apps are excellent. Likeness is really, really good. 
And you can even see that there's a wash on the hair there, which is also very nicely done. So there's your comparison from the sides there. And let's take a look at the back. All right, so let's start moving into the accessories. I put in the headphones with the cassette player on his head and hand there. And I also swapped out one of the interchangeable hands to hold this, the cassette player. And he can hold it very well. The headphones are made of a soft plastic. So you could just put those right over his head there, no problem. And there's a closer look for you guys. The headphones move around fairly easily, so it is hard to perfectly put them right over his ears. But again, these is made of soft plastic, so moving it around without breaking it is no problem at all. And here is a look at the cassette player. Very nicely done. And it's attached to a wire, which you see there, which is also made of a soft plastic. Marty also comes with a newspaper article from the Save the Clock Tower. I found it best, if you wanted to put it in his hand, to put it in between his fingers. They're uh, sculpted apart. So you can put thin pieces of paper like that in his fingers. And he has a pretty good grip on it. So there's a closer look at the newspaper article that's very nicely done. And I was very surprised when I looked at the back. It even has a I love you and as well as a phone number. And it also looks like it's been uh, wrinkled a bit, which is a pretty cool uh, addition that they did to this accessory. Also included with Marty is the photograph of him fading away, which is a pretty cool addition. And I don't remember seeing it in the official description. So this was definitely a nice surprise and what I think is a nice bonus for fans. So moving it closer, you get a really good photograph of him there. And just like the newspaper, this one can also fit between his fingers for a better grip and so he can hold it. Let's turn it around to the other side. The other side is plain. There's no uh, writing or anything there. Here we have a look at Marty's other interchangeable head. And I also went ahead and put in on his uh, guitar here, right around his torso and in both hands. I also went ahead and swapped out the other hand. This one has the piece to play the strings. And the guitar itself is black with uh, metallic silver and it also has a red strap that goes around his torso there which looks really good the guitar it's also a brand new sculpt and i'll show you a comparison between the two guitars in a moment so again the head sculpt is brand new and here's a comparison just for reference between the two head sculpts Here's a closer look at the head sculpt, and here's a closer look at the comparison right there. You see that there's a different facial expression. And again, really good likeness to Michael J. Fox. Here's a look at the sides of the head. This head will also work for the headphones, in case you're wondering. Here's that comparison between the two guitars that I just promised you. The interchangeable hand with the piece to play the strings is the same. The guitar is brand new, but they both have straps you can put around their torso there. And they did a very nice job on these guitars. It fits very well in his hand there, and he's got a good grip on both of them. Here is another shot of Marty for you guys. Once you bend the legs, I do find it a little bit difficult for him to perfectly stand. So I think you could only bend them a little bit before he starts topping over, which is uh, understandable. But I would definitely recommend if you want to put him in like a real bent leg kind of uh, guitar playing pose to use a uh, one of those NECA figure bases. 
And on this figure and many others, there are holes on the bottom of his feet, which the peg will just easily go in, and that's to help the figure stand better. So I would definitely recommend it more if you want to uh, bend these legs even more. Here's another pose for you guys. Since the head is ball jointed, you can move that around to uh, the side as shown. And again, he's got a really good grip on the guitar in that hand right there, while this other one can play the strings. Here is a look at all four versions of Marty McFly. Again, the ultimate Marty McFly audition version is first available at Walmart stores here in the U.S., and then he will become available everywhere else. So if you decide to go into Walmart, just make sure to wear a double mask. Uh, COVID's pretty dangerous right now. Stay safe. The Tales from Space Marty McFly is uh, exclusive to Walmart stores. So you will have to physically go into the stores, check online for him. Uh, again, the audition version it will be available everywhere else. So there is no rush to get him right now. Here is a comparison of all four versions of Marty McFly that are available. Overall, he's a great figure, an awesome addition to the line, and I think fans are going to uh, really love this release. I would strongly recommend picking him up, and I would recommend picking up the entire line. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary, 35th anniversary of Back to the Future, and it's high time we get a line like this. So, if you're a fan, Definitely jump on board this line. It's a great line. Thank you again to NECA Toys for providing this figure for review. Greatly appreciated. I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Thank you for watching. Check out the written portion and photo gallery of this review. And come back and stay tuned for more coverage.